Hello everyone, here I am again in front of you all with a new lesson. Today I am taking class 9th ka second unit, that is sports, right? And here is our reading section A, hai, the race. As you all know that reading section A of second unit sports is the race. Before we go to the lesson, just talk about sports. Right. So, sports is also an important part for the life of a child. Okay. It helps in the overall development of child. Right. Not only studies are important in his life, but also for the physical development of a child, sports is necessary. Right. So, if being a parent, if we force our child to study only, so it will be not correct, right? We must give them some space to try their hand on sports. So in a way, we will allow them to develop overall, right? Just not only in education field or studies field, but also in sports field. Because sports help them in different ways, just like in to work how to work in teamwork secondly ek jo group work ke alawa ya team work ke alawa jo sportsmanship wali jo feeling hoti hai that also developed through the sports right to sports jo hai ek overall development ke liye important hai kisi child ke liye to studies is not only the part of the development of child kisi bacche ke development ke liye kewal studies important nahi hai sports ka bhi utna hi important role hota hai see each and every child is unique in itself matlab har bachcha apne aap mein unique hai theek hai everyone has its own superiority in different field right someone is good in math someone is good good in account someone is good in language someone is good in literature right someone is uh, good in uh, social affairs and someone is uh, good in sports so we can't judge them on the basis of studies only right so this will be wrong to being a parent if we judge a child if the child is not good at studies okay agar hamara bachcha jo hai padhai mein acha nahi hai aur hum se aise judge kar rahe hain ki wo padhai mein acha nahi hai to wo future mein kuch nahi kar sakta so it is not like that kaun sa bachcha kis field mein kis tarike se apna career banaye we don't know right okay nowadays as the uh, world has modified and we are living in a modern situation there are so many career facilities right so many fields that one can develop their career so this is the chapter who uh, is dealing with sports right there is a situation yahan pe ek situation di gayi hai jo bachcha isi feeling se guzar raha hai just because that this child is not that much good in studies but he is still good in some kind of sports so before going to the chapter let's have a quick information about the author of this lesson so the race is written by nisha punjabi she is from lucknow uttar pradesh she has written more than 50 articles right and she also won a prize in sports category in a story writing competition for the children book trust so this is all about the author unit 2 Sports. Reading A. The race. Tarun was a mediocre student. His grades could barely satisfy his parents, and he was not a good singer, dancer, painter, or even an actor. He always thought of himself as the black sheep of the family. His elder brother. who was pursuing a degree in engineering from a reputed college always made the family proud but tarun was never good at anything like that however he was blessed with the strength of a great athlete he was an excellent runner 
he would run for hours be it day or night whenever he felt sad and lonely he exhausted himself by running thus releasing all his pent up emotions at times he would miss his school bus and would then run to the school which was 5 miles away from his home he just had one dream to become the fastest runner in the world tarun did not know how to achieve his dream on one hand his parents hated his running and wanted him to concentrate more on his studies which he never did on the other hand he belonged to a middle class family and tarun knew that to achieve his dream he needed an intensive training the amount which was well beyond his family's reach when tarun failed in his terminal examinations his father was very angry with him his friends too made fun of him it was a day he wanted to erase from his life and so he took to running he ran all around the park the sun beat down to check his rage but nothing could stop tarun after about an hour he was fully exhausted and his fury having subsided he threw himself on a bench and started to pant suddenly he heard a voice what is it son tarun looked to his left and there sat a man of about 60 i failed in two subjects tarun replied in a depressed tone the man smiled sympathetically and said life is full of ups and downs boy by the way i am ram narayan and you are one of the best runners i have ever seen ram narayan ram narayan are you the same ram narayan who won an olympic medal in the 400 meter race in the 1960s tarun could not hide his excitement yes that came the reply tarun was dazzled son i have been watching you for the past 45 minutes continued ram narayan and i see a good future in you tarun could not help but blush all you need to do is keep that passion burning in you and never give up have you joined some training school tarun smile turned to distress a training school is very expensive sir and i am unemployed said tarun feeling happy that he could joke even in this circumstances but ram narayan seemed pretty serious i can train you if you want but i have one condition what condition tarun's voice showed a sense of urgency there is a race on the children's day at the nehru stadium children of your age are competing there if you win that race i will start training you said ram narayan that is no big deal thought tarun i will i will sir he heard himself say with complete conviction fine boy it is my job to get you entry in the race and remember yours to win it tell me what is your name asked ram narayan tarun tarun kapoor sir tarun i will meet you here after 5 days to give you your participation card all the best said ram narayan and left the next day brought a new ray of hope tarun got up early had milk and before his mother could finish her query on what he was up to he ran out and went to the nehru stadium to check the details of the race he was very happy indeed tarun started preparing with zeal every day he would get up at 4 in the morning and run 10 miles in the evenings he would time himself according to the 1000 meter distance prescribed by the competition 
He wanted everything to be perfect. He also wanted someone to back him up and so he told his mother everything. Tarun practiced vigorously for 5 days and then met Ram Narayan to collect his participation card. Tarun gazed at the piece of paper which meant so much to him. No matter what, he had to win this race. He wanted to show his father that he was not really the black sheep of the family and that he could be good at something at least. Then came November 14. After taking the blessings of his mother, Tarun pedaled away to the stadium. There was a huge crowd waiting to go inside. Tarun entered the office where a signboard read, Participants only. With his heart beating faster every second, Inside, there were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin. Someone patted him on his shoulders. Hello Tarun. It was Ram Narayan. All the best, he said affectionately. Tarun smiled but did not say a word. All the participants lined up, each one hoping to win the race. Each one of them had his family and friends on the stands to cheer for them. To his amazement, Tarun saw his mother in the stands. The fear in his eyes changed to confidence. The whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might. They were all determined to be the winner of the race. In the lead was the fastest of them all. Tarun. Seeing himself ahead of everybody, Tarun felt very proud of himself. On the track, there was a, I see a good future in you. Tarun could not help but blush. All you need to do is keep that passion burning in you and never give up. Have you joined some training school? Tarun's smile turned to distress. A training school is very expensive, sir, and I am unemployed, said Tarun, feeling happy that he could joke even in these circumstances. But Ram Narayan seemed pretty serious. I can train you if you want, but I have one condition. What condition? Tarun's voice showed a sense of urgency. There is a race on the children's day at the Nehru Stadium. Children of your age are competing there. If you win that race, I will start training you, said Ram Narayan. That is no big deal, thought Tarun. I will, I will, sir, he heard himself say with complete conviction. Fine boy, it is my job to get you entry in the race. And remember yours to win it. Tell me, what is your name? Asked Ram Narayan. Tarun. Tarun Kapoor, sir. Tarun, I will meet you here after five days to give you your participation card. All the best, said Ram Narayan and left. The next day brought a new ray of hope. Tarun got up early, had milk and before his mother could finish her query on what he was up to, he ran out and went to the Nehru Stadium to check the details of the race. He was very happy indeed. Tarun started preparing with zeal. Every day, he would get up at 4 in the morning and run 10 miles. In the evenings, he would time himself according to the 1000 meter distance prescribed by the competition. He wanted everything to be perfect. He also wanted someone to back him up and so he told his mother everything. Tarun practiced vigorously for 5 days and then met Ram Narayan to collect his participation card. Tarun gazed at the piece of paper which meant so much to him. No matter what, he had to win this race. He wanted to show his father that he was not 
really the black sheep of the family and that he could be good at something at least then came november 14 after taking the blessings of his mother tarun pedaled away to the stadium there was a huge crowd waiting to go inside tarun entered the office where a sign board read participants only with his heart beating faster every second inside there were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin someone patted him on his shoulders hello tarun it was ram narayan all the best he said affectionately tarun smiled but did not say a word all the participants lined up each one hoping to win the race each one of them had his family and friends on the stands to cheer for them to his amazement tarun saw his mother in the stands the fear in his eyes changed to confidence the whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might they were all determined to be the winner of the race in the lead was the fastest of them all tarun seeing himself ahead of everybody tarun felt very proud of himself on the track there was only with his heart beating faster every second inside there were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin someone patted him on his shoulders hello tarun it was ram narayan all the best he said affectionately tarun smiled but did not say a word all the participants lined up each one hoping to win the race each one of them had his family and friends on the stands to cheer for them to his amazement tarun saw his mother in the stands the fear in his eyes changed to confidence the whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might they were all determined to be the winner of the race in the lead was the fastest of them all tarun seeing himself ahead of everybody tarun felt very proud of himself on the track there was a i see a good future in you tarun could not help but blush all you need to do is keep that passion burning in you and never give up have you joined some training school tarun smile turned to distress a training school is very expensive sir and i am unemployed said tarun feeling happy that he could joke even in this circumstances but ram narayan seemed pretty serious i can train you if you want but i have one condition what condition tarun's voice showed a sense of urgency there is a race on the children's day at the nehru stadium children of your age are competing there if you win that race i will start training you said ram narayan that is no big deal thought tarun i will i will sir he heard himself say with complete conviction fine boy it is my job to get you entry in the race and remember yours to win it i see a good future in you tarun could not help but blush all you need to do is keep that passion burning in you and never give up have you joined some training school tarun smile turned to distress a training school is very expensive sir and i am unemployed said tarun feeling happy that he could joke even in this circumstances but ram narayan seemed pretty serious i can train you if you want but i have one condition what condition 
Tarun's voice showed a sense of urgency. There is a race on the children's day at the Nehru Stadium. Children of your age are competing there. If you win that race, I will start training you," said Ram Narayan. "That is no big deal," thought Tarun. "I will, I will, sir," he heard himself say with complete conviction. "Fine boy, it is my job to get you entry in the race and remember yours to win it. Tell me, what is your name?" asked Ram Narayan. "Tarun, Tarun Kapoor, sir. Tarun." I will meet you here after 5 days to give you your participation card. All the best," said Ram Narayan and left. The next day brought a new ray of hope. Tarun got up early, had milk, and before his mother could finish her query on what he was up to, he ran out and went to the Nehru Stadium to check the details of the race. He was very happy indeed. Tarun started preparing with zeal. Every day he would get up at 4 in the morning and run 10 miles. In the evenings he would time himself according to the 1000 meter distance prescribed by the competition. A shallow path. As he was running fast, Tarun did not notice that and he slipped. breathing fast he saw the other kids going past him he could not be a loser today and so without wasting a second he got up to run once more being quick tarun overtook a few kids ahead of him but as fate would have it he slipped again what was happening to him he could not bear it he looked into the crowd and saw his mother she was saying something to him get up son get up and run so tarun got up once again he was among the last few but he did not give up once more he overtook some children since he was fretting a little too much he fell a third time tears were rolling down his cheeks how will he get into ram narayan's training school now how will he prove to his parents that he was talented he was the last kid on the track now he turned his eyes towards the stands then he heard ram narayan screaming from somewhere come on tarun run and so he got up a third time this 12 year old determined boy who was last on the track got up and ran with all the strength he had The crowd was cheering for Pavan, the boy who had won the race. But to Tarun's surprise, there was louder applause when he crossed the finishing line last. The audience cheered for his determination and his valor for never giving up. He bowed his head with shame and said to Ram Narayan, "I am sorry, sir. I lost. No, son. To me." You have won the toughest race, the race of your life. You got up and started afresh each time you fell. You are a real life hero. Your training starts tomorrow. Tarun could not believe his ears. Tears filled his eyes again. He smiled at his mother who hugged him and said, "You are the best son in the world." Now Let's start the story. Now, here is a character, leading character named Tarun. ये जो पूरी कहानी है, ये Tarun की कहानी है, right? Now, this child is a mediocre student. What is the meaning of mediocre? Mediocre means average, right? So, now Tarun Tarun is a child who is a mediocre student. That he is not. so good in studies he never secured 90% marks or 95% marks in examination right okay now his grades always is average right grades means marks jo unke marks the wo hamesha average hi hua karte the and the grades barely satisfy his parents too aur unke marks jo the barely meaning hota hai 
कि समथिंग वेरी डिफ़िकल्ट टू डू बहुत मुश्किल से उनके पेरेंट्स को सेटिस्फाई करते थे राइट right? और ही ऑलवेज थिंक दैट ही इज़ द ब्लैक शिप ऑफ द फैमिली बिकॉज ही वॉज नॉट दैट मच इन अ गुड इन स्टडीज वो हमेशा ये सोचता था कि वो अपने परिवार में एक ब्लैक शिप है अब नाउ वॉट इज़ ब्लैक शिप अगेन ब्लैक शिप इज़ एन ई डी एम एक ई डी एम है राइट और इसका मतलब होता है अ पर्सन हु इज़ रिगार्डेड एज अ डिसग्रेस और फेलियर और यूजलेस बाय हिज फैमिली एक ऐसा व्यक्ति जो पूरे परिवार में डिसरिस्पेक्टफुली देखा जाता है या परिवार के बाकी मेंबरों की अपेक्षा उनको कम आका जाता है उनको फेलियर माना जाता है या उनको यूजलेस माना जाता है तो ऐसे लोगों को हम क्या कहते हैं ब्लैक शिप कहते नहीं हैं मतलब एक ईडीएम दिया गया उनके लिए ब्लैकशिप इंग्लिश में दिया गया तो तरुण अपने आप को हमेशा अपनी फैमिली के लिए ब्लैकशिप समझते थे वाई सी जस्ट बिकॉज हिज ब्रदर हिज एल्डर ब्रदर इज स्टडिंग इन एन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज राइट एंड ही एज ही वॉज परसुइंग इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम अ गुड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड ही ऑलवेज सिक्योर गुड मार्क्स फ्राम द चाइल्डहुड और वो बचपन से ही जो उनके बड़े भाई थे वो हमेशा अच्छे मार्क्स सिक्योर करते थे एंड जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दे ऑलवेज मेड प्राउड टू देर फैमिली और इसलिए वो हमेशा क्या करते थे अपने परिवार को प्राउड फील कराते थे क्योंकि वो हमेशा बचपन से पढ़ाई में अच्छे थे राइट right? उन वो टीचर्स के सामने अच्छे से प्रजेंट होते थे बच्चा जो है वो पढ़ाई में अगर अच्छा है तो ऑफकोर्स जो है स्कूल में उसका नाम भी अच्छा होता है राइट right? टीचर्स भी उसको अच्छा बोलते हैं और इवन पेरेंट्स भी अगर केवल स्टडीज के लिए फोकस्ड होंगे है ना इफ दे आर ओनली फोकस्ड ऑन स्टडीज एंड दे आर नॉट फोकस्ड ऑन अदर एक्स्ट्रा कैलकुलर एक्टिविटीज सो इन दिस सेंस वो क्या करते हैं उनके लिए बहुत प्राउड की बात थी कि उनका बच्चा जो है नाउ ही इज परसुइंग एन इंजीनियरिंग डिग्री राइट सो दिस इज अ बिग थिंग फॉर देयर parents and their family but here tarun in the position that he is not able to secure good marks right and he is an average student right now but the good thing that i told you earlier that every child is unique right hai na so har bachcha apne aap mein unique hai and every child is blessed with something right uh, because ishwar ne humko banaya hai to he has blessed some different qualities to each and every child right to unhone har ek bachche ko blessing ke roop mein ek अच्छी सी क्वालिटी एक यूनिक सी क्वालिटी देके भेजा है ठीक है राइट सो यहाँ इफ बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट तरुण सो तरुण वॉज अ ग्रेट एथलीट ही वॉज अ ग्रेट रनर वो बहुत अच्छा दौड़ते थे राइट ही इज हैविंग अ स्ट्रेंथ राइट टू रन एंड रन लाइक दैट ही नेवर स्टॉप इफ ही वॉन्ट स्टूडेंट ही रन फॉर long long distances now there are so many examples uh, in this story that has given and set his standards that how he has good in right uh, running all right theek hai hum ab aage badhte hain the story is telling about that he is that much good enough that ki whenever उनकी बस जो थी अगर वो छूट जाती थी ही लेफ्ट हिज बस फ्रॉम फॉर स्कूल सो वॉट ही डिड ही रन टू वर्ड द स्कूल एंड हिज स्कूल वॉज टेन माइल्स अवे फ्रॉम हिज हाउस और वो दस माइल तक दौड़ के जाते थे सोचे जस्ट यू इमेजिन दैट हाउ ग्रेट रनर ही इज राइट सो नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वो इतने अच्छे थे एंड समाइम्स वेन ही फील सैड और लोनली इन दिस केस इन दिस सिचुएशन वेन ही वॉन्ट टू थ्रो आउट हिज पेंट अप इमोशंस ही जस्ट एग्जॉस्ट हिमसेल्फ बाय रनिंग ठीक है जब भी वो दुखी होते थे निराश होते थे तो वो क्या करते थे वो अपने आप को दौड़ कर थकाते थे और अपने जितने भी पेंट अप इमोशंस हैं वो क्या करते थे वो बाहर निकालते थे पेंट अप इमोशंस ऐसे इमोशंस होते हैं जो किसी के साथ हम शेयर करना नहीं चाहते हम वो 
फीलिंग जो है किसी के साथ शेयर नहीं कर सकते बेसिकली ये इमोशंस जो होते हैं इंट्रोवर्ड्स के पास होते हैं बट समाइम्स एक्सट्रोवर्ड पीपल है ना बी इन फीलिंग्स के थ्रू गुजरते हैं जो वो किसी के साथ शेयर नहीं कर सकते तो पेंट अप इमोशंस आर द सेम इमोशंस राइट नाउ बट ही हैज़ अ ड्रीम to become a great runner to become a athlete and he also knows that to become a great runner that he need an intensive training intensive training ka matlab hota hai he had to involve a lot of hard work right he had to involve himself into it a lot विद अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क राइट वो ये जानते थे कि अगर उनको एक एक अच्छा एथलीट होना है तो उनको क्या करना पड़ेगा ही हैड टू इन्वॉल्व हिम सेल्फ इन टू इट राइट एंड ऑल्सो ही हैड टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क राइट ही हैव टू पुल अप हिज सॉक्स पुल अप हिज सॉक्स मतलब दिस इज अ फ्रेज पुल अप हिज सॉक्स मतलब कि बहुत अच्छी तैयारी करनी पड़ेगी देन ओनली ही कैन बी a great athlete in future but this is the one part of his uh, thought but the second part of his thought is that ki first one is that he is having a dream that he want to be a athlete right and the second part is that he knows that he belong to a mediocre family now again word mediocre mediocre now here mediocre means not average मिडिल क्लास फैमिली राइट ही बिलोंग्स टू ए मिडिल क्लास फैमिली वेयर स्टडीज़ आर गिवन मच इम्पॉर्टेंट रेजर दैन द स्पोर्ट्स जहाँ पर क्या था स्टडीज़ को ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंस दिया जाता था रेदर दैन स्पोर्ट्स के एंड इज पेरेंट्स ऑलवेज सेज टू हिम कि बेटा दिस इज़ नॉट गुड यू फोकस ऑन योर स्टडीज लाइक दिस है ना एंड दे ऑलवेज से कि फॉर योर बेस्ट फ्यूचर इट इज़ नीडेड दैट यू मस्ट स्टडी एंड फोकस ऑन योर स्टडीज सो इन दिस वे ही इज नोइंग दैट द ड्रीम ही इज हैविंग हिज बियॉन्ड हिज रीच नाउ एंड एक्चुअली ही नोज दैट द ड्रीम ही इज हैविंग विथ ठीक है इट इज बियॉन्ड हिम and his family beyond ka meaning hota hai add or to the further side of matlab unki family ke aur unke soch ke pare tha so this is the first phase of the lesson now moving towards the another part of the lesson let's understand what is in the next part of this lesson नाउ इन दिस लेसन एक सीन दिखाया जाता है या बताया जाता है वे तरुण हैज फेल्ड इन हिज टर्मिनल एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो कोई भी बच्चा जब इस सिचुएशन से गुजरता है तो यू ऑल नो दैट हाउ मच प्रॉब्लम ही हैड टू फेस सबसे पहले तो घर में डांट पड़ती है और साथ में दोस्त क्या करते हैं मजाक बनाते हैं सो द सेम सिचुएशन हैपन विथ हिम His father was very angry over him, and his friends made fun of him. उन्होंने क्या किया उसका मजाक उड़ाया उनके दोस्तों ने एंड ही सेट अरे तरुण यू फेल्ड यू डिट यू वेर नॉट एबल टू सिक्योर गुड मार्क्स यू आर नॉट एबल टू इवन पास इन द टर्मिनल एग्जामिनेशन इट्स सो बैड इन दिस वे दे मेड फन ऑफ हिम नाउ वॉट हैपन This is the thing. This was the day he wanted to erase from his life, and he was feeling so painful. So that what he does, he just started running, and he ran around the park. Or वो दौड़ते गए, दौड़ते गए, दौड़ते गए. There is a line given in your lesson that the sun being down to check. his rage but nothing could stop tarun the meaning of this line is ki sun bhi set ho gaya the sun set right and he also want to test the sun also want to test his patience level and his rage rage means hota hai the work or the activity which is डन बाय द पर्सन वेरी एंग्रिली राइट बहुत गुस्से में कोई काम करने को हम क्या बोलते हैं रेज तो जो उसका रोश था उसको चेक करने के लिए भी अब सूरज जो था वो डूब चुका था एंड 
no one was there who can stop tarun and he was continuing with his running around the park after an hour he stopped and threw himself on a bench in this way jo uska anger tha wo thoda sa subsidize ho gaya ya kam ho gaya now yahan pe ek word use hua hai furry has सब्सिडाइज इसका मतलब होता है यहाँ पे जो उनका एंगर था रोष था वो थोड़ा ना थोड़ा क्या हुआ कम हो गया राइट right? सब्सिडाइज हुआ मतलब कम हो गया एंड ही सैट ऑन द बेंच एंड स्टार्टेड टू पैंट यहाँ पे एक वर्ड आया है स्टार्टेड टू पैंट स्टार्टेड टू पैंट का मतलब होता है हाफना टेकिंग लॉन्ग ब्रीथ जब हम बहुत दौड़ के आते हैं तो कैसे आते हैं दैट्स द सेम वे ही वॉज ब्रीदिंग ही वॉज एट दैट टाइम ब्रीदिंग एट दैट टाइम वेन ही वॉज ब्रीदिंग वेरी हाईली ही हर्ड दैट सम वन इज देर ही हर्ड सम वन्स वॉइस वॉट वॉज इट सन ये क्या था बेटा एंड ही लुकड अप एट देर वॉज ए मैन स्टैंडिंग देर वहाँ पे एक व्यक्ति खड़े थे ही सैट बिसाइड तरुण वो व्यक्ति क्या किए उसके बगल में जाके बैठ गए तरुण उनको देखता है एंड ही फाउंड दैट पर्सन इज अराउंड सिक्सटी ईयर ओल्ड वो वो देखता है कि दैट पर्सन सेट एट हिज लेफ्ट वो तरुण के लेफ्ट साइड में बैठता है बैठते हैं एक्चुअली और उनकी एज थी इट इज़ अराउंड सिक्सटी ईयर्स वहाँ पर जो सर आए थे जो पर्सन थे वो बोलते हैं वॉट हैपन वॉट इज़ इट गोइंग ऑन ये क्या हुआ क्या चल रहा है वाई आर यू रनिंग ठीक है वो कहते हैं सो so, यहाँ पर तरुण एज यू नो दैट तरुण इज़ सो सैड तरुण वॉज सो सैड एंड In a depressed way, he told that person that I failed in two subjects. ठीक है Depressed मतलब बहुत ही दुखी मन से उसने बताया depressed हो करके कि मैं दो subjects पर fail हो चुका हूँ Now, उनको motivate करने के लिए to motivate him, the person said, सी सन देर इज अप्स एंड डाउन इन एवरी वंस लाइफ बट The one should not stop to work, right? उन्होंने बताया कि हर किसी के लाइफ में अप्स एंड डाउन्स आते रहते हैं लेकिन किसी को भी अपने काम को करने से रुकना नहीं चाहिए इतना कहने के बाद द पर्सन गेव इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू तरुण ही सेट हाय आई एम राम नारायण राम नारायण तरुण स्टैमर स्टैमर्ड मतलब थोड़ा सरप्राइजिंगली वो हकलाया बिकॉज ही हैज़ हर्ड दिस नेम समवेयर एंड इट वॉज अ फैमिलियर नेम बिकॉज द पैशन ही इज हैविंग इट दिस नेम इज रिलेटेड टू हिज पैशन जो पैशन उसका था एक एथलीट बनने का एक रनर बनने का उस पैशन से ये नाम कहीं ना कहीं जुड़ा हुआ था तो जैसे ही तरुण एज Tarun heard this name. He was uh, shocked and surprised. Both the emotion came together, right? In Tarun, Tarun me, ye dono emotions jo the ek saath jagrit hue ya jagke hain kya sakte hain. 